Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, Today, we commemorate Pope St. Pius X. Through his intercession, we ask our Lord Jesus Christ to restore us again, to bring us back again to the grace and love of the Father. And so, to prepare ourselves to receive these graces in this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, You have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, You have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who, to safeguard the Catholic faith and to restore all things in Christ, filled Pope St. Pius X with heavenly wisdom and apostolic fortitude, graciously grant that following his teaching and example, we may gain an eternal prize. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ruth. Naomi had a prominent kinsman named Boaz of the clan of her husband Elimelech. Ruth the Moabite said to Naomi, Let me go to glean ears of grain in the field of anyone who will allow me that favor. Naomi said to her, Go, my daughter. And she went. The field she entered to glean after the harvesters happened to be the section belonging to Boaz of the clan of Elimelech. Boaz said to Ruth, Listen, my daughter, do not go to glean in anyone else's field. You are not to live here. Stay here with my women servants. Watch to see which field is to be harvested and follow them. I have commanded the young men to do you no harm. When you are thirsty, you may go and drink from the vessels the young men have filled. Casting herself prostrate upon the ground, Ruth said to him, Why should I, a foreigner, be favored with your notice? Boaz answered her, I have had a complete account of what you have done for your mother-in-law after your husband's death. You have left your father and your mother and the land of your birth and have come to a people whom you did not know previously. Boaz took Ruth. When they came together as a man and wife, the Lord enabled her to conceive and she bore a son. Then the woman said to Naomi, Blessed is the Lord who has not failed to provide you today with an heir. May he become famous in Israel. He will be your comfort and support of your old age, for his mother is the daughter-in-law who loves you. She is worth more to you than seven sons. Naomi took the child, placed him on her lap, and became his nurse. And the neighbor woman gave him his name at the news that a grandson had been born to Naomi. They called him Obed. He was the father of Jesse, the father of David. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. See how the Lord blesses those who fear Him. See how the Lord blesses those who fear Him. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in His ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. See how the Lord blesses those who fear Him. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. See how the Lord blesses those who fear Him. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. See how the Lord blesses those who fear Him. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. See how the Lord blesses those who fear Him.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called master. You have but one master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This day, my dear brothers and sisters, we are commemorating the Pope, St. Pius X. And he is famous for the words coming from his motto as the Pope. And it is to restore all things in Christ. This is a reminder to all of us that Jesus was sent by the Father to restore all things in God, to bring back all of us to God. Ang atin pong pagdiriwa ngayong araw tungkol kay St. Pius X ay nagpapaalala sa atin na tayo ay ibinabalik ni Jesus sa biyaya pagkalinga ng Ama. Dumating si Jesus upang ayusin anuman ang nasira, ibalik sa Diyos anuman ang nawala ng landas, ibalik sa atin anuman ang nawawala sa buhay natin ngayon. Jesus was sent by the Father as the restorer to repair what has failed, to bring back what was lost, to fill what is lacking in us. Jesus is indeed the restorer. He comes to repair, He comes to bring back what was lost. And we can see this in our readings today. In our gospel passage today, from the Gospel of Matthew, we see that Jesus came in order for Him to renew and to change what was wrong in the mindset of the Pharisees and of the people. We will see in the Gospel that the Pharisees 
the teachers of the law, they look to themselves as above the rest. Mataas masyado ang tingin ng mga pariseyo sa kanilang sarili. Sapagkat sila ay ang mga guro sa sinagoga at sa templo. Nagtuturo ng salita ng Diyos. Nagtuturo ng mga kautusan ng Diyos. They are the experts of the law. That is why whenever they would go to places, they would go to houses, they would want the place of honor reserved for them. Ang mga pariseyo ay gustong-gusto nila na kapag sila ay nagpupunta sa iba't ibang lugar, ah, sila ang pinakamataas. Yung upuan ng uh, kabisera dapat sa kanila. Sila dapat ay binabati ng mga tao tuwing dadaan sila. At ang tawag sa kanila, Rabbi, Father, Master, Teacher. Gustong gusto nila yung mga titulo na ibinibigay sa kanila. But Jesus came and tried to correct this mistake. And Jesus said to them, The greatest among you must be the servant of all. And those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Jesus came to restore, to repair, to correct their understanding of being a teacher. That it is not about the honor, it is not about being exalted in your place, being a teacher is to become a servant. Kung nais mo na ikaw ay maging tunay na guro, tagapagturo ng salita ng Diyos, hindi ka dapat nagmamataas, kundi ikaw ay tunay na lingkod na nagpapakababa. Jesus truly comes to us to restore, to repair, to renew whatever is wrong in our understanding of service, of teaching one another God's Word. In our first reading today, we also see the power of God restoring and repairing the life of Ruth and Naomi. We will remember that Naomi lost her husband and her two sons. And Ruth, her daughter-in-law, also lost her husband. Parehas na silang balo. They lost something. They lost someone in their lives. That is why we will see or we can say that their lives are lacking right now. But God came to the life of Naomi and Ruth. God gave Ruth a new husband, Boaz. And together, they were able to have a son named Obed. Now, Ruth has a husband, Ruth has a son, and Naomi has a grandson. Nawalan man sila, sila man ay namatayan, nawala ng mahal sa buhay, pero ang biyaya ng Diyos ay dumating sa kanilang buhay at nagpanumbalik ang kanilang saya sapagkat biniyayaan sila ng Diyos ng bagong buhay Bagong pag-asa sa pagkakaroon muli ng pamilya, sa pagkakaroon muli ng isang anak. Truly, my dear brothers and sisters, 
Jesus was sent to us as the restorer. He came to bring back what was lacking in their lives. He came to heal what is sick in our body. He came to fill what is lacking in our hearts. He came to bring back what was lost in our lives. I know, my dear brothers and sisters, that at this moment, there are many of us who have lost someone in our families, in our communities. We know of uh, religious communities of sisters who have lost someone, a member of their religious community, families who have lost their loved ones because of COVID-19, people who are right now sick, who have lost their health because of COVID-19, people who have lost their jobs, families and people who have lost their happiness, their gladness because of being stressed out by COVID-19. This is our prayer today to Jesus, the Restorer sent by God. He comes to repair, to renew, to change, to fill us again. Ito po ang panalangin natin sa misang ito sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Nawa ang mga tao na nawalan ng trabaho, nawalan ng mahal sa buhay, ngayon ay nagpapagaling ng kanilang mga katawan, mga taong napapagod sa kanilang mga trabaho, darating si Jesus upang panibaguhin muli, ibalik muli ang ating kasiyahan sa pamilya, sa ating pamayanan at komunidad. Ibalik muli ang kalusugan na, ha, na wala at hinahanap natin. Ibalik muli ang dating sigla ng ating mga sarili. Panginoong Jesus, nawa sa misang ito ay ibalik muli ang mga nawala at ang aming mga hinahanap sa aming puso at buhay. Amen. We have one Father in heaven and one teacher, His only Son. Let us come to our Father, praying for all His children on earth. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those called to the ordained ministry may be committed and faithful to their sacred duties, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents and teachers may instruct those under their care through the good example of their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may always seek to do what is right, and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may look with compassion on the old, the lonely, and the sick, and ease their suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may receive eternal rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we bring before you the needs of those who know you 
and those who have never heard your name. Grant our petitions through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Receive with kindness our oblations and grant, O Lord, we pray, that following the teachings of Pope St. Pius, we may celebrate these divine mysteries with sincere reverence and receive them in a spirit of faith. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of Pope St. Pius X, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called 
to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Celebrating the memorial of Pope St. Pius, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the power of this heavenly table, we may be made constant in the faith and be of one accord in your love. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank all of you who have joined us in this morning celebration of the Holy Mass. We would also like to thank all of you who have constantly uh, sent us your help, your support, and your donations for the Manila Cathedral. And uh, as we continue with uh, uh, living life in this pandemic, we pray that our Lord Jesus today might restore you, restore your health, restore your strength, rest, uh, restore your will to life again. And we know that God, through Jesus Christ, will restore us again to life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, 
and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Ni sa'y dakin